Welcome back. This first lesson is going to be a simple lesson of just graphing triangles and quadrilaterals in the coordinate system. So again, all you need to make sure you remember is that the first number in an ordered pair is your X or your horizontal position. So that eight here means I'm gonna go over eight, but then I'm also going to go up four because the second number is my vertical placement. So I go up four. So that point is this first point, eight, four. Then I'm gonna go over to six, go up to three. So that's the six, three point because I went right six, up three. And then the last point, five, three, I go over five, I go up three, and it's this little triangle, graph the triangle, right? So this should not be a very difficult lesson. You will get to quadrilaterals and other um, different shapes. And sometimes they don't give you all the vertices. And what I mean by that, first of all, vertices are the corners. So when it says the three vertices and graph the square, well, we're going to go out to nine all the way up to 10. So again, I went right nine up 10. Then I'm going to go right three up 10, right three up 10, right to that point three ten. And then I'm going to go to the point three four. So I go over three and up four. But be very careful. You notice three vertices of a square. Graph the square. We're not graphing a triangle. We're graphing a square. So where would the other vertice be? Well, it'd be right there to make it a square, right? So they only give you three of the four vertices. But it's still not very difficult. Um, as you move forward, they might give you parallelograms and rhombuses, right? So far, they're just giving me squares. Well, and then they're going to do the whole coordinate system. So let's do one of these. The three vertices of a square are 10, negative 9. So positive 10 is the x, negative 9 is the y, and then negative 9, negative 9. So I'm going to go back negative 9, down negative 9. It looks like it's going to be a very big square. Uh, technically, we don't even need, well, we do need to know if it's up or down, I guess. The last one's negative 9, positive 10, which is up here. So obviously the other one's way over there and you see that nice big square. Fair, here we go. Here's a parallelogram and they only give us three vertices. But it should be easy to graph the last vertices because it's a parallelogram. I'm going to go to 6, 9, over 6, up 9. I'm going to go to 6, 4, so over 6, up 4. Then I'm going to go to 9, negative 5. So I'm going to go way out here to 9, down here to negative 5 which is right there. Now I need a parallelogram. So let's try to make this look like a parallelogram. Well, what does a parallelogram look like? Well, not like any of those. Oh, over here, it's getting to look closer, closer, closer. I believe right there's our parallelogram because if you think about it, the opposite sides need to be parallel. So I have this side that's vertical and vertical, and then this one's going down at the same slope. So down, however many, I guess that would be down a total of nine and over three. So I just went down nine and over three, but visually you can see that it's a parallelogram. So again, watch for those. As we go forward, again, another square. Now we're gonna do a rhombus. Now again, what's a rhombus? So you have to know what some of these figures are. And we've had a lesson on these things, so go back and review that if you need to. 10, negative 9, so out 10 down to negative 9. I got 4, negative 6, so I'm going to go out 4 down to negative 6. Then I'm going to go to 1, 0. I'm going to go over 1, 0. Now this is supposed to be a rhombus. Now a rhombus, what's a rhombus? Well, a rhombus is a parallelogram where all sides are as a quadrilateral, in fact, where all sides are equal in length. So I got to make sure that we have equal in length. Now that's too big, right? Well, that one last side looks too long, right? That's not quite there. That looks like my rhombus. I could verify it is by, you know, looking at this length from here to here, looking at the length from here to here, making sure all four sides look the same. Looks like a diamond that's kind of on its side. But again, a rhombus, all four sides are equal. Squares are simple. I'll let you do this. the rest of these on your own. If you have any questions on what a shape is, look it up. And then just make sure that you are finding that fourth vertice that they might not be giving you.